Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is the difference between the Unify Isolate Network option and the Unify Guest Network option. So let's hop on over to my UDR7. And we're going to go to Settings and Networks. <clears throat> and we're going to go to my Guest Network. And by default, auto scale is going to be turned on and this is going to be on auto. So for what we're going to do, I always disable the auto scale network. And then I always come down here to manual because I like to be in control of my VLAN ID. Now, isolate network is going to do exactly what it says. It's going to keep this network mm -hmm. from talking to other networks or VLANs on our Unify system. It's going to keep those other networks from being able to talk to this network devices are going to be able to talk to each other though and as long as the allow internet access checkbox is checked these uh, hosts are going to be able to get out to the internet now if I turn guest network on what that's going to do is that's going to give us the ability to funnel hosts out through a landing page maybe with terms of service Maybe they're purchasing this internet access, those things. We're going to look at that here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now, with the guest network, it does the exact same thing that the isolate network does, where whatever you have tagged as a guest network can't see the other networks or interact with them, and the other networks can't interact with something that is a guest network. It does all of that heavy lifting with the firewall rules for you <coughs> under the hood. Now, once you've got the hotspot enabled, to get to that, you're going to go to Insights, and you're going to go to Hotspot. If you have any guests authenticated to the hotspot, you would see them here. To change all of the different options for that. Now, remember, with an Isolate Network, you don't get this. With an Isolate Network, it is just going to isolate that network. And if you allow it to have internet access, get to the internet. Guest is going to funnel people through this landing page. And this is totally customizable. We can come up with a custom solution for you. We can help you customize the one that's in your Unify OS console. And over here, you can see that we can change the title. You can see that it's updating kind of in real time there. And then you can enable terms of service and they have to check that they agree to the terms of service. You can also change the logo, you can change the colors, and then you can't see it because my face is hiding it. But once they authenticate, you can redirect them to a custom URL or you can just give them a successfully authenticated uh, message. Now to kick this up a notch, you can do payments. Um, you can see, you can see, you can do that here. You can do vouchers. You can do a radius server. I don't have radius enabled. Oftentimes, if you're doing an external server, which you've got here, you could use radius for that. Now, if you're doing any type of payments, you're going to want a valid SSL certificate installed. You're going to want that SSL certificate installed anyway, if you're going to be doing HTTPS redirection. You're going to really, you, you need it. Otherwise, you're going to have a half working system that's not going to work for a lot of people. You can also do Facebook. You can do just a regular password. And then under the settings, you've got authorization access. So you can allow before people are authorized, you can allow them to go certain places. So if you are using an external hotspot server, you would put the URL in there. And then once they are authenticated the post authorization restrictions which you see all of the RFC IPs here that is what's blocking them from from getting to those other VLANs and you could change this so if you had a VLAN let's say with printers you could easily just add the printer VLAN there and not have to worry about creating firewall rules for that and up here is where you would set the secure portal, the HTTPS redirection, 
And this is where you have to have a valid SSL certificate and use a fully qualified domain name to make this work properly. So that's the difference between isolate network and guest network. If you've got any questions about this, let me know down below. If you need help configuring this, you can also get a hold of us. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting to get this working or to get any network things tuned up, if you need voice over IP, security, storage, all those things, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's there on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to talk about this and other tech-related issues, <clears throat> head on over to community.willyhow.com. Sign up and join the conversation. Once again, I'm Willie. I hope this clears up any of the confusion between those two options on your unified networks. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.